Hey guys, this is Firestarter. Welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Star Drive. I don't really remember what's going on here, so uh, let's check it out. No mission on this explorer. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say just explore this whole uh, sector here. You? Wait, where are you? Right there. Explore this whole sector. C3. Okay, hold on. I just right clicked over here. Explore. Oh, that's E3. Okay. So he's going to explore everything in this sector. Uh, that is a C3, and I'm like, dude, you're already in this sector. Whatever. I've had a few drinks to me, um, uh, yeah, so. That's all I got to say about that. Looks like we have a major concern, though. Uh, if you look on the top right of the screen, I'm highlighting the cash flow and it says we're eight thousand five hundred dollars negative in cash flow we uh, we do have a hundred twenty two thousand dollars in money right now but we have to get rid of that so I'm gonna go to the Empire summary screen and see what's going on ship and base maintenance it's ninety four thousand while we have the troop maintenance at twenty two thousand yeah, I probably recruited too many troops in those other planets. I remember saying, hey, I'm just going to keep left clicking here. Uh, I don't know how this is going to affect my economy. Well, here we go. But that's only $22,000. Uh, my ship and base maintenance is 94000 That has got to change. So one thing I can do at this point is look at my tax rates. I'll just... Uh, tax my uh, people. And I believe from my experience that you can tax up to 14-15% uh, on your planet to pretty much I, I don't know how you put it. Uh, if you want to promote growth on your planet then 14% or less of your tax uh, should go into that planet. Uh, your planet will still grow with 14% tax. If it still works like that, you know, I, I'm still shocked at some of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, surprises. Uh, this new patch has surprised me in quite a, f uh, a different way, so. Anyway, I have 14 million people on this planet. I'm just going to tax 5%, 125 million on this planet, I'm going to go with 10%, 32 million, 5%. Alright, I'm going to unpause this and see where that takes me in cash flow. And if I remember right, it's like every ninth uh, month or ninth day or some shit that uh, you get your uh, income from all your planets or whatever. We have a pirate escort attacking some shit up here. Alright, oh, I do have uh, three races of the 17 or 19 that uh, I put in the game. These guys right here are pleased with me, the orange guys. A plus nine. I think maybe I can change a relationship and... Oh, we have a free trade agreement. Okay, that, that should have helped me out a lot with my money situation. Uh, minus 14, plus 5. Will you ugly motherfuckers accept a trade treaty with me? What if I gave you guys money? Uh, 7,000 in credit. Change relationship. Your trade agreement. Seriously? 
those greedy motherfuckers. Alright. I'm just going to let it play out. Oh, my cash flow is, is coming down. I know I have a big excess in reserves. You know, I have this 134000 but the negative 7000 really scares me a lot. So let's see what happens. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. Now I'm at 110000 and I went back up to minus 8,000, minus 7.8 thousand in cash flow. This is not looking good for me right now. All right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. 93,000 in ship and base maintenance. That's where all my money is going. What can I do about that? Maybe I can build some more mines, bring some more luxury goods in. I don't know, maybe the private sector will trade. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember exactly how the trade system works, but it is fucking in-depth. I, I will say that. Uh, what will I do? Well, we have these other oh, charts down here. In frigates, okay, I have 33 frigates. That's 1,275,000 1, credits. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, maybe, oh, okay, that's my maintenance. So 20,000, 20,000. Don't mind me, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> If I remember right, I can check on uh, my inflation. I think that might be in my expansion planner. Doesn't look like that's where it's at. Wow, I, I haven't played this game in so long. You know what? Don't come to me for tutorials. I'm not like a DAS, uh, what the fuck his name in, uh, is in YouTube. He has a, a good uh, rapport on YouTube with these type of games, and he'll give you tutorials on how to maybe manage your economy. I don't know. I, I've not reviewed his videos myself. I have actually had a couple of viewers just from this series alone tell me, hey, you should watch this guy's video. He'll help you out. And I barely even started, so I don't know, maybe I'll do that. And the and these guys are probably telling me I suck at this game. Which, you know, whatever. Okay, this is my home planet. And these guys are unhappy. Colony tax rate is too high. I'm gonna bring it down a bit. How about you guys? Our colony's environment has been ravaged by destruction. Really? I don't remember that. I'm just gonna let it play out. So if I want more money, I'm gonna need more colonists. Uh, more colonists... I, I think the equation has something to do with the quality of planets, but we have here our energy... our engineers have completed research in energy torpedo weapons. Okay, well, that's not going to help me in this situation. Although, uh, I need to queue up some more uh, things here. Oh, wow. So I've researched miss missile weapons and enhanced missiles. Uh, I have not retrofit any of my uh, ships to take advantage of these technologies, and I think maybe I should. But let's see what we have here. We have missile weapons, then point defense weapons. I think I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a queue up point defense weapons. It's a close range weapons that uh, disables, or hopefully disables or destroys uh, fighters. 
we're gonna go ahead and do that. They may come in handy whenever they have cruisers or something like that that has a fighter base that can, you know, bring out you know small fighters and and harass us. If the AI even does that, I I honestly don't remember. It's been uh, quite a long time since I played this game. I did complete these ion ion weapons. So how do they compare to the official blasters? Damage eight. It doesn't really tell me. Oh wait, this thing disables weapons and engines of the targeted ship or base. So I probably should be putting these ion weapons, probably one or two, on my uh, destroyer or something like that. But I'm a big fan of missiles, so I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and go this route. I'm gonna get get this uh, point defense weapons. I can't get the advanced missiles unless I uh, queue up point defense weapons and enhance point defense. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get the high density alloys, which should get me some uh, better armor. All right. Oh shit, minus 22,000 in uh, cash flow. What am I doing wrong here? What the hell am I doing wrong here? I did lower the tax on my main uh, planet here. I'm gonna take it up back up to 35. Let's see what happens. Also, uh, right away, what I'm gonna do is take these guys that are pleased with me with a plus 0.9. I'm going to send them another gift of 8,000. They're plus 11 right now. Let's see if. Oh, wait. We already have a trade agreement. Goodbye. I'm gonna talk uh, to these guys with a plus 6 and a gift of uh, plus 7,000. They have a, still a plus six. It may take some time for this to take an effect or whatever, so we'll see. It's a forex game, so we have plenty of time just to sit here and go like this. But we do have. Uh, it's none of my concern. It's, it's a uh, explorer ship. He'll. He or she will command the ship to run away. That's fine. So back to this. Now I'm happy to see that we're down to uh, minus 5,700 in cash flow. So we're getting there. I want to go back. I am running at 2x the speed. So I'm going to go back down to these guys and hopefully propose a free trade agreement. I'm going to send him another gift of 6,000. Sold plus 6. I fucking hate that's a money sink. I could try unpausing the game too. I'm at minus 6,000. Am I minus 8,000? What the hell is going on here? Uh, let me take a look at my construction yard. We're not producing anything on my home planet. I have a spaceport that's almost done. That may help me out here, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. It's just one of those moments like, it's a forex game. And pushes up to forex. Uh, 
gonna pull my expansion planner. I probably yeah, I have some uh Wait, that's colony ships. Okay, I have construction ships available. Uh, there needs to be an easier way for me to tell if, uh, if uh, these are luxury resources or not. Because I would tax the hell out of my home colony if I had a ton of luxury resources coming in. I guarantee there's a mod for that though. So uh, I, I might go download it after this uh, Let's Play. Our people get happy over steel, so I'm gonna, yeah, let's get some of that in here. What kind of uh, gases do we have here? Uh, hydrogen. I know at some point in the future we will uh, rely on hydrogen instead of uh, calcon. It probably shouldn't be uh, a concern of me right now. What do you have? More steel? Alright. Whatever. Unpause it. Let's let it go through. Let's investigate these ruins. The fortress of Torak provides a unique bonus to any empire that colonizes this planet. Any troops trained at this planet gains a 100% strength bonus, as well as being trained 100% faster. Additionally, any forces defending this planet from invasion gains a 100% combat bonus. Where the hell is this planet? Unpause. Oh snap. Yeah, I guess people haven't said oh snap for the last few years, but uh, the orange people own that system. Diplomacy screen orange. Yeah, you guys own it. Fucking a, uh... Their reputation has went down one on us, even though we're sending them a fucking gift. Plus six, and I sent them a ton of money. Well, will you guys trade technologies with us? No. How about the orange guys? No. Either we know or have more technology than they do, or we don't have enough relations to where they'll like let us know what kind of technology they have. So we'll just let it play out. I am going to see here if we have... Okay, we do have a troop general. I'm going to send you to the troop fleet. Colony, intelligence agent, leader, fleet admiral. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If we had someone, uh, like a diplomat, that could increase our uh, relations with the orange people, I probably would have done that. But obviously that's not going to happen. Also, uh, I have all these construction ships uh, just idle. I probably should have them do something. And check this out. Polymer, 52%. Oh, I have no, uh, oh wait, that's colonies. Let me try that again. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just get these going uh, and, and hope that the private sector, uh, starts racking in the money. The more money that the, the people spend, the more tax money that will, will, uh, rake in. And hopefully the cash flow will be coming to the positive. Any polymers out there? Oh, what's this resource of calcin? Let me try that again. What's this resource of calcin? 100%. Go ahead and build there. That's a resource that our race likes, but that's all over by the red people. Actually, I might do that because I might be able to sell that station back to the red people and uh, uh, make a good profit. I have a few more uh, construction ships available. 
So I'm going to sort this list by distance to whomever. I don't know, maybe my capital capital planet. Gold, lead, and iridium. I think iridium and lead are useful uh, resources. Steel, definitely a useful resource. Alright, I'm out of a uh, construction ship, so I'm going to let that play out. All oh, right, I can I can do that as well. Uh, Empire summary screen. The charts. Victory conditions is a sandbox game. There are no victory conditions. Population. You kidding me? I'm at a. I'm the highest of all the people that I've met so far. Territory by far the highest. Economy, I'm tied with whoever these guys are. Strategic value, I'm not sure what exactly that means. Maybe uh, the st strategic value of my planets, uh, what's on them and such. That's just speculation, I really don't know. But I'm number one on that, so I'm happy. Military strength, holy shit by far. I'm not going to build any more military. Top colonies, fire starter, fire starter, fire starter. I got three of the top four, four of the top six. That's my problem right now. I'm uh, overextending. No more, uh, no more military ships. effect I mean it was obviously the case because if I go in here and see ship and base maintenance, ship and base maintenance at 94,000 you have to know you have too many ships and I already knew that but I thought I, there was a way for me to uh, you know to counteract that there isn't it's tough oh and look at that I have frigates that are completing right now um, I'm going to get rid of some of my ships. I'm going to go to military ships. Roll fleet. Alright. I'm going to get rid of my cruises first. Or, my, excuse me, my frigates. And why the hell are these guys in auto? Frigate. 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 Yeah, go ahead and scrap before you're, you're even built. Escort. I have no use for escorts right now. In fact, every escort is going to be scrapped. Alright, let's see what happens right now. Down to uh, minus 4,000 in cash flow. I'm still recruiting troops as well. Are we done with the space station? No, 94%. I have a feeling that that's going to help me out a little bit. Can I speed this up anymore? 4x is the max. Our engineers have completed point defense weapons. Alright, we're going with enhanced and then enhanced missile missiles. But after high to see alloys. Alright, as long as I have a plane, I guess, you know. Bacchus High Speed Shipyards built. We have completed the construction of the Bacchus High Speed Shipyards at our colony. Irene. Irene. I'm just going to call it that. There's a bunch of owls in there. Uh, yeah. 
E R N E. Yeah, the font's too small. I'm just gonna call it Irene. All right. Uh, this shipyard is a unique wonder that can only be built once in the galaxy. It provides the following special benefits: colony development plus thirty percent, construction speed plus two hundred percent faster. It doesn't help me out in uh, my tax situation, so I'm gonna look around and see if there's something that can help me out here. And I'm sure of it, there is something here. I remember playing uh, like one and a half to two years ago. Uh, there's a technology that definitely helps me out here. Enhanced commerce does what? No. Trade bonuses plus ten percent reduces corruption. So pretty much these two lines down here are very useful. I'm not gonna colonize another planet. I'm gonna halt this desert colonization for now and get open trade network. Colony income plus fifty percent. Yeah. So what is this? High tech industrial. Uh, high tech is my highest uh, research uh, shit right now, <laughs> for lack of a better word, right now because I've been drinking. Wait a minute. The escort has been completed. I do not remember building escorts. That is seriously one thing I. Uh... Well, I don't care right now because for whatever reason my cash flow is plus thirty-one thousand. Can someone please explain that to me? How my cash flow is right now plus thirty-one thousand? I looked over my planets, like my main one. I went over the construction yards. There, at the at the moment, there was nothing built. My spaceport is still being built. That has no bearing on it. Hell, this a spaceport or whatever is being built here is has hasn't even started. The um, the freighters haven't even got there yet. And then I got this one, 90% spaceport. And really, just educate me, uh, just so I can know the game better. How did I go from minus 8,000 to plus 30,000 in cash flow? Please let me know. We'll go investigate the ruins, empire wide energy research bonus of 100% if we colonize this planet but we cannot colonize that planet that's fine all right I'm gonna send my first fleet over here prepare and attack I doubt it can reach there though um, well, I did retrofit those ships, and uh, I believe most of them have a, f a fuel storage of at least 300. I'm going to go and double check. Destroyer. Destroyer Missile Mark 1. Fuel capacity of uh, 560. What are my frigates in this uh, fleet then? Can they even get there? Frigate Century. Show billable. Show. I want to see obsolete designs. Actually, show 
show all designs. Okay. And I'm gonna go. It's a frigate sentry. Edit. Yes, I know. With the 240 fuel capacity. Yeah. <laughs> if they make it, then they can join the fight. But in the meantime, we got one monetary gift from these guys with the eyeballs of 11,000. Hey, thanks. Uh, let's negotiate a trade proposal. Nope. Send a gift of 12,000. Let's negotiate a trade proposal. Nope. We surely do not have the most technology. I mean, I, I cannot see that. And you know what, it concerns me because there are 17 or 19 other races in this galaxy and these guys own this much. This is going to be a compact, uh, shit is going to be filled with a bunch of races and we might be forced to do some diplomacy, get some uh, alliances going and stuff like that, which will be freaking fun. We'll see though. So we, we took a treasure of 5,700 credits. Alright, you guys will go ahead and refuel and repair. I have a troop general just not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and send him up to that uh, fleet as well. Maybe he'll gain some experience uh, floating in space or something. And what do we have here? Nothing else. Alright. I have 229,000 credits right now, so I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to look at the graph here. E economy. I'm way up there. I kind of feel like that I should have uh, put all these other races ahead of me in technology. Mostly because I, I don't want I don't want to be the one dictating uh, this game, and right now I feel like that uh, I own this game, that no one can touch me. And hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe the AI have done something to uh, you know. Maybe they've they've gone down better tech trees or something. Maybe they've uh, built more uh, research stations. And uh, maybe they've gone, you know, maybe, maybe they've done all that. And hopefully I'm wrong, but right now I feel invulnerable. And now I'm power hungry, so let's, let me see if I can extort my neighbors. But normally I like a game where I have to be diplomatic. I have to, to choose my friends wisely, you know. There, if there are people that are more powerful than me, like I want to try to maintain a good relationship with them. But right now, I only know a couple other races. I am superior to them, and uh, none, none of that stuff I just talked about will even matter. Care to swap territory maps? No. If I had a spy, I would just send it down there, but I know you guys are just south of me. If south is a direction in space, who knows. We've discovered another ruins. Investigate. Sweet. Alright, so in the ruins of the nexus of the Red Claw, we have found secret technology enabling us to build a unique super weapon. The Devastator Pulse. The discovery will allow us to build military vessels of unrivaled power. Alright, so if I, if I read that right, we don't need to uh, colonize that planet, otherwise it would have told us, right? Let me go to the shipyard or design screen. Add new. Is it the Devastator Pulse? 
I fucking can't believe I don't remember what the name of it was, but this thing has a size of 170. Um, it has to be a... One way to check, I hope, is to look in the help screen. Components. No. There you go. Okay, I don't know, but that is the biggest weapon I can put on a ship. Okay, it is the Devastator Pulse. So if I wasn't powerful enough already, I have this Devastator Pulse that can wipe everyone off the galaxy. Okay. Alright, since I'm so powerful, and uh, these orange guys like me, I'm gonna talk to these guys, change a relationship. No, we're not gonna do any of that. Negotiate trade. No, let's send a gift of 27,000. Are you kidding me? So I have all the technology. All right, let me take a look at this uh, screen here. Okay, I can't see uh, in the screen who uh, has all the science. Uh, victory, population, territory, economy, strategic, military, top colonies. None of that has anything to do with science. I'm willing to bet I'm number one in science right now, and that's... That's pathetic. Okay, only if these guys are like 88% or higher am I going to try to colonize uh, these planets. 97%? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to colonize that one. That'll help me out with my uh, tax money. Um... I just researched something here. Enhanced missiles. So I could uh, try to rush and fit my frigates with that technology. However, there's no point. I feel like I'm number one in the whole galaxy. Military strength. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's up to you guys. I know there's very few of you guys uh, watching this video. Should I start a new game and make this substantially harder or play through this and just wipe everyone out? And really, I don't know what's going on because I have 17 to 19 other races here and I only know one, two, uh, three, uh, three other races. Maybe someone will surprise me. So let me know, uh, let me know what you think, and I'll, you know, I'm definitely down for, uh, you know, having all, all everyone uh, giving me their input and uh, going along with it. But right now, and this is my first game in, in at least a year, year and a half or whatever, and uh, I'm already feeling like I'm too powerful. I mean, I'm looking at my uh, screen here. These guys are not making good decisions at all, you know. Either way, let me know what you guys think, and I will comply. So, alright, I'm going to pause this. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.